live streamers out there, welcome back. Um, we're about to kick off the second part of our show with Kelly Brewer, Kelly Bruhaha, as she's better known stage-wise. Um, first time I saw Kelly was at a music festival uh, down at Inman Valley, south of Adelaide, for those who are oh, not in this region. There. Yes, we were there. And I was pretty impressed, but then I uh, was talking to a guy who produced a couple of my albums in uh, Quentin Ayers, and he said, have you ever heard of this girl named Kelly Bruhaha? I said, yeah, I did see her once. He said, she just did some vocals for her album, which she just completed with Shane Nicholson producing it. Not bad. <laughs> um, and he said, what a set of pipes. <laughs> and we went down to see her last year at Cooey Art House south of Adelaide, blown away. And that's why she's here tonight. Put your hands together for Kelly Brewer. <laughs> Kelly Brew, ha ha. Thank you. <laughs> This mic on, oh, there it is. I actually first met Quinton doing jingles for him. And I was the voice of, um, ooh, ooh, the optical superstar, gotta be better than that, be happy. <laughs> I'm glad that's not the only thing I've ever done. <laughs> Gotta get out of here Gotta get away This life is killing me Work's not worth the pay Gotta get on the road Leaving before dawn We'll be the city traffic The shadows will be gone The sun shines calling me Somewhere I can breathe Ooh, Just you and me Ooh, The rhythm never flows upstream This is how life begins. No, and this is where worries end. Dad put in the fire, wait on for all our friends. The sun shines calling me. Somewhere I can breathe Ooh, Just you and me Ooh, The sun shines calling me Somewhere I can breathe Just you never flows upstream the river never flows upstream the river never flows upstream
Thank you so much for coming to an actual gig in person. I spent a lot of time on my own in the last few months. And every time I go somewhere, everyone asks me, oh, have you been writing lots of songs and masterpieces and being really creative? And I haven't told them that I've watched all 16 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and that was just the first week. <laughs> and everyone's response to that is, is there that many seasons? And then I respond with, oh, it's not the first time I've watched all 16 seasons either. <laughs> and I thought maybe I was a bit depressed during COVID and then I got on stage tonight at Soundcheck and sung half a song and went, oh no, no, I just miss music, that's all. So it's really, really beautiful that you're all here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> The funny thing is the people on the live stream can't see that the entire first row was empty. <laughs> I promise I've been living by myself in a town of about 50 people. I'm clean. <laughs> <laughs> but that guy that was coughing in the audience, I don't know about him. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm sorry. <laughs> Solid ground in this dark, lonely tunnel is a hard, hard thing to find. Living deep, deeper. this next song for my dad and uh, in this new era of live streaming I have to remember that my mum's watching which is hard because um, 
I got in trouble once for a gig I played in the middle of nowhere in WA on this uh, off-grid little station. And I had no phone reception, so I just assumed we were on our own. And someone in the audience did have reception and uh, was live streaming, apparently. And I was a bit angry with my family because I travel a lot and they'd conveniently forgot to tell me about my mum's birthday that I wasn't invited to. So I told the audience that my family weren't my family anymore. They were. You know, fair trade. Don't get invited for cake. <laughs> You're on the shit list. <laughs> and um, when I got into reception three days later, I had all these texts from my mum <laughs> saying, Oi. <laughs> I heard what you said. <laughs> Did you what? I didn't get any cake. That's why I was angry. <laughs> She's doing a really good job, job looking after my dad at the moment. My dad's got Alzheimer's. And uh, it's not all bad. Sometimes he lends me money and forgets about it. Don't tell mum. Oh no, we're live streaming. See? Gets me into trouble, the internet. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Grandpa lost his mind way back in 1994. We didn't get much time, but I sure like to explore. To remember anything he had to. Ride it on down Grandma didn't lose her mind Till she fell and broke her arm And her mind it would snow Back to 926 she'd go To remember anything She had to ride it on down And I know you're very careful trying to keep your mind from going out. Oh, you don't have to write it down. And darling, you don't have to write it down. And Daddy, you don't have I'm going to remember everything When I'm dead My kids will remember it instead You don't have to write it down And I know Try to keep your mind from going out. Oh, you don't have to write it down, darling. You don't have to write it down, daddy. I'm going to remember everything. Thank you. I really love it here. There's a campfire outside. I'm a bit of an addict for fires. Not like house fires or bad ones, bushfires, they're bad, but campfires are good. And uh, this place does such a good job of letting people camp out the back. And I used to live in my car, so that's nice. I had to stop living in my car because I closed the borders and Adelaide's cold. So I moved home when uh, COVID hit. I had to come home and 
move in with my parents. That lasted a couple of days. <laughs> I loved them, but you don't need to vacuum outside the bedroom at 8 a.m., Mum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know about live streaming, hey. I'm getting in trouble. But um, I wrote this song about camping. I love camping personally and I get to go on these things called Aussie Road Crew. Has anyone heard of those? They're camping tours with uh, Becky Cole and Libby O'Donovan and a bunch of our friends. And we take a bunch of people in their caravans to the middle of nowhere and sing songs to them around the campfire, essentially. And I wrote this song after one of our tours in WA. And I keep making mistakes And I keep running the wrong ways I keep denying myself space And I'm tired When I think I've had When I feel like giving up When I can't pick myself up And I can't make the spin stop And I pray May your dreams be cold May and simple things And wherever you roll I hope there's wheels on your home And I pray you never feel alone Out here If I let things so down I put my ear to the ground and If I take the long way round And I'll see That I do not need much But to refill my cup With a little bit of love And remember to look up And I pray May your dreams be cold May and simple things And then wherever you roll I hope there's wheels on And I pray you never feel alone I Then wherever you roll, I hope there's wheels 
I'm going to sing you a song you know next. Any Beatles fans? <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> oh, gosh, it's so nice to be around people. I don't think you understand. <laughs> I, live in a, I live in a tiny town on the York Peninsula at the moment because um, it's cheap. And I get excited when the bin man comes. <laughs> What have you been doing during COVID? Nothing. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Oh, take these broken wings and learn to fly. Or your life. You were only waiting for this moment to Black bird fly. Black bird fly. Went to the light of a dark black night. Singing in the dead of night oh, Take these sunken eyes And learn to see And all your life You were only waiting For this moment to be free Black bird fly Blackbird fly dead to the light of a dark black night. You were only waiting for this moment to rise. You were only waiting for this moment to rise. Oh, you were only waiting. For this moment to Last week, Mike rang me to say, Louise is sick, can you jump your gig from August back a month and she'll play your gig when she feels better? And I said, yeah, of course, I'd, I'd love to play next week. And then I, but I hadn't put my jeans on yet in three months and I was worried that, <laughs> I was like, do I even know how to play guitar anymore? 
do I have any clothes? Like, you know. Just, has anyone else had that happen to them or is it just me? But I'm so glad we got to do this. I hadn't seen Jimmy Bay play before and he's excellent. Please put your hands together for Jimmy one more time. I feel like maybe we might be travelling kindred spirits from another lifetime or something. I mean, I've never woken up in an artichoke field, but <laughs> there's time. season there's a place and I'd rather not go there's a pain no you can't imagine you know that I will hide when it shows itself I keep it to myself I keep it And I will keep you blind And I will protect you From the deepest darkest depth Down to my soul This anxiety keeps me from sleeping there You don't want to see how Keep it to myself. When I cannot seem to find myself Inside this box I built myself This box I built myself This box I built myself Keep it to myself. I wrote this next song for my nana. She passed recently and she was a sewer and a gardener and she was really good with her hands and this whole time through what looks like it might be an apocalypse, I kept thinking, ah, oh, 
should have learnt how to sew or like grow veggies or something. Didn't. <laughs> and um, but uh, when we were growing up, she, I found this out at the funeral actually. She um, sewed all my cousins these matching rara skirts, including my brother. <laughs> That's another story. But um, I never got one because there's quite a big gap between me and the rest of the family. I'm the youngest by a lot. And she instead sewed me a matching tracksuit to her matching tracksuit. <laughs> you know that velour kind of cotton? <laughs> it was fuchsia. Pink. And um, we used to, she used to walk me down to the shop and we'd be in matching tracksuits like... Pink Teletubbies, and she'd let me put the lotto on for her. I think that's illegal now. <laughs> and now I'm in trouble with mum again. Sorry. <laughs> I wrote this song for her. Well, I've never missed you quite like this before. My eyes are heavy, they only find the floor. The phone rings, but it's never you that calls. Did I remember? to say I love you I can't recall if I even spoke at all the phone rings but it's never you that calls and there's a hole in my chest that's been aching there's a hole in my heart, now you're gone And there's a hole in my body where I'm breaking The phone rings, but it's never you that calls The phone rings, but it's never you that calls And all the flowers by the house say turn to dust And all my eyes can't be filled, I never rush The phone rings But it's never you that calls The secretaries in the garden turn to rust I feel as though I may spontaneously bust The phone rings But it's never you that calls There's a hole in my heart, now you're gone. And there's a hole in my body where I'm breaking. The phone rings, but it's never you that calls. The phone rings, but it's never you that calls. Miss you most in the morning when I wake Between the tea and the toast and stale cake The phone rings But I've stopped picking it up Sometimes 
house when the house is still and I hear laughing right outside the window see the phone rings the phone rings the phone I've been really lucky while I haven't had a job and been unemployed during all this craziness and I've started a thing called a Patreon, which is a place where I get to make songs and people give me money for it. It's great. <laughs> but um, more than that, it's been a thing when we had no work left, I had nothing to do and, and I didn't know what to do with my life. I realised that without music, my life was very empty and... Uh, the Patreon where people pay like a dollar a month has been something that's kind of kept me doing something and kept me busy and given me purpose and it's been such a pleasure to have something to do. So a big thank you to everyone out there who's supporting me on the Patreon. It really means a lot. Um, I covered a song by Lucas Nelson recently that I'd like to sing for you guys because it's... I don't think you can write a song that's better than this one to describe what we're going through at the moment. It's called Turn Off the News. Also, that's the other reason I couldn't live with my parents because they watched the 4.30 news and then the 5 o'clock news and then the 6 o'clock news and then the 7.30 report and the news does my head in. <laughs> And I believe that every heart is kind And some are just a little unused Hatred is a symptom of the times Lost in these uneducated blues And I just want to love you while I can all these other thoughts hit me confused I don't think I'll try to understand Maybe I'll get up, turn off the news Turn off the news and be to God Just my neighborhood and me We might feel a bit less hard then we might feel a bit more free Turn off the news and raise the kids Teach them how to be good people Give them hope that they can see and Give them hope that they can see Oh yeah, hope that they can see Turn off the news and build a garden with me. And trust, and build and trust. All these negativities of us. And trust, and build trust. Don't you want to be happy? I turn off the news and be to God Just my neighborhood and me We might feel a bit less hard We might feel a bit more free Turn off the news and raise the kids And give them something to believe in Teach them how to be good people And give them hope that they can see Hope that they can see Turn off the news and be the God in me Turn off the news 
hills and build a garden in me. Thank you. I don't have a job, I've got nowhere else to go Tried taking some time off, but it didn't work Time doesn't heal the heart It just makes it worse this next song for my mum. She's my hero. I love her. But um, she's one of those people that, you know, you go go to mum's house because you're a bit sad and you just want to eat the food. And and uh, she says, oh, come on, get over it. It's not that bad. Pull up your big girl undies and get on with it. That's totally her approach to life and I think it's such a good philosophy some of the time. Not all of the time. Sometimes you just have to eat the cake. 
But I wrote this one for her. And um, it's called As Long As There's a Smile. And oh, and oh, mm, oh, mm, oh. Da 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 Well, it's been many years today since I decided I'm okay, I can do anything as long as there's a smile. When you go lost, you can go. You find you just don't know. A smile pick you right up off the floor and oh, and oh, oh, and oh, 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 Not okay, just try and smile. I know you'll be around when you choose to think that way. You cannot lose, you'll find a way. A smile pick you right up off the floor. No. La da da de yo. La da da de yo. No, 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 Before you decide you're insane. The first look around or change your game. Make sure you're not surrounded by the blues. And it's been many years today since I decided and I'm okay. Can do anything. Oh, I can't do anything. Oh. I can't do anything as long as there's a smile. Ah. As long as there's a so nice to be around people I don't I feel like a tiny child up here just grinning it's such a such a high to be around actual humans aside from the lady at the servo <laughs> my my one thing I do a week to go out is I go buy hot chips but um I live in a town where there's two places that does the hot chips and the place I want to get the hot chips from is never open on the day that I really want to eat hot chips so I keep eating substandard hot chips. <laughs> and I know no one else is really into potatoes as, as much as me like that, but um, I feel like that's how 2020 feels is you don't get the hot chips that you want. This next song is called I'm Gonna Miss Ya and it's not about potato. 
<laughs> you know when at that point where everyone asks if I've been writing lots of songs during COVID? I have been writing lots of songs, but some of them are purely only about potatoes. <sighs> so if you join my Patreon, you can hear my potato song. <laughs> You can tell I don't get out very much at the moment. I apologise. <laughs> I wrote this song for my dad as well.
Do you guys want to have a sing with me? Just a little one. You only need to sing one word which goes traveling like that. Do you want to practice? Ready? Traveling. Yeah, no, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is a brand new song. I wrote it during COVID. It's right, it's not about potatoes. Um, there's a part in the song where I go, eh, and so I'll keep traveling, traveling, traveling. So I sing, traveling. You go, traveling, traveling, like that. And it can be out of tune, that's fine. Yeah? But it's got to be loud, all right? I'll point at you when it's ready. Everyone on Facebook's like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, but we can't hear you guys. This is a song about how much I wish the border was open. Does anyone else just feel stuck in Adelaide? I love Adelaide, don't get me wrong, but um, it's like, I imagine what it, it's what it would feel like if you did something really bad and you were on house arrest and you had one of those little ankle bracelets and you could go to the front door but you couldn't go to the letterbox. But the letterbox is covered in snot or something and the letterbox is Victoria. Why they give me a microphone? <laughs> I love a painted silo. I love a desert peak. I love a song on the highway And I yearn to feel that free I love a desert country I love a dry hot land There's something about that highway that helps me understand And I am but one man Making plans that I can't keep Droughts and fires plagues and morbid cursed and all of this I surely don't deserve I'm relying on the embers in this earth To help me get to sleep Are you ready? And so I'll keep traveling Traveling, traveling For its troubadours and me <laughs> for next time we're on. Yeah. And I love to drive the hay plants with nothing else inside. Perfect roads that last for hours And I could drive all day, all night And I love a red dirt Queensland Way out west I'd rather be A 
While I'm looking out for silos They're looking out for me And I am but one man Making plans that I can't keep Droughts and fires play the moment curse And all of this I surely don't deserve I'm relying on the embers in this earth And to help me get to sleep you ready? And so I keep traveling Traveling for its true windows and me again. When so I keep traveling, traveling, traveling for its true windows and me. And so I keep. Traveling, 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 for it's true and me. <laughs> that was fun. Now it's a part of the night where I sing you the song about the boy that broke my heart and stole my dog. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to repeat that on the microphone, but it was funny. I made the mistake of marrying my cousin's husband's boyfriend. Oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> no, that's not right. <laughs> it's not my cousin's husband's boyfriend. It's my cousin's husband's brother. And that's different. But they're Tasmanian, so kind of similar. <laughs> <laughs> There's another sing along part in this song. It's quite easy to go. Woohoo. Can you do that? Until I'm hoarse I've done the things that I could do To try to stay on course I've been through hell and back again I even changed my name About Benjamin Thank you. 
It's in front of my face, but I can't see. And what don't you believe in me? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I settled down, I bought a dog. Painted ticket fence. I tried my best to talk to you, but trouble times were tense. You walked over my heart, and then you would put that again about Benjamin. Thank you so much for having me tonight. I'm going to play one more song. I've got some CDs for sale and some T-shirts and some hoodies. And by hoodies, I mean I've actually just got T-shirts, but it's cold. But I have one hoodie and it's to show you that you can order one and I will have it delivered from China at some point. I'd like to say it would come in the usual three weeks, but I'm not sure we're on speaking terms. So... <laughs> I've been watching the new... Yeah, I went to Mum's this week. I come to Adelaide once a fortnight to teach, like, two people. Because um, when what happened when the world closed down is I lost my job and my other job and my backup plan and the other backup plan because... My backup backup plan was to go back to work at Target and they closed all the Target stores. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm unskilled and very flexible and free for any work you might have, preferably not with animals or food or heavy lifting or exercise involved. <laughs> In my, yeah. I'm a really good hire option. <laughs> On a normal resume, it's like target and then like a 10-year gap and then COVID and everyone goes, what did you do in that gap? And I said, I'm a musician. I mean, I lived in my car. So, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> I'm, um, I feel very lucky to live in a country like ours because we're supported luckily and I feel like if it was 100 years ago in the plague of 1918, I'd be dead. I'd have starved by now, for sure. Or I'd be walking around with no shoes on and very cold. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this song. This song is about living in my car. And, um, you know, you can stay in five-star hotels and they're great. But have you ever stayed in a 40,000-star hotel around the campfire and you've looked up and, you know, camping is just another world of its own. On the days when it's good, sometimes it's cold and rainy and your roof is leaking and it's conveniently leaking into the sink so it's just going plop, plop in all night. Not that that's ever happened to me in my van because my van's really good and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd really like to thank Mike for having me tonight. It's a beautiful space to play in and a first, as a first gig back, it's pretty magic. I'm very glad to not be sitting under a TV screen in some pub with people not listening and having to sit down when they want to maybe dance to the song that they requested that I don't want to play. <laughs> I'm really grateful to not be there, so thank you. Thanks to um, John on the sound and to Jordan who's doing the live streaming and the lights. And to Di and Rosie and everyone else involved out here. 
And to those of you that are live streaming, if you live in Adelaide, where the fuck are you? Come here. It's much better, I promise. I know it's far. Sorry, I swore. Sorry, Mum. Come to the barn. It's such a beautiful place. Um, you won't be disappointed. You can camp here. And um, also they have brownies after the wine and the beautiful food from the Barossa food van. and <laughs> Not bad brownies, just really good. <laughs> Mike just had awesome brownies. I don't think you mean those kind of brownies. Jimmy might have good brownies. I hear he's got some mushrooms too, no. <laughs> this is my last song. It's called 40,000 Star Hotel. Now I don't get how you're living. I don't understand. It's like watching a movie. It's so fucking bad. You just sit there in silence. Misery's at your door. You turn up the TV so you can't hear anymore. You can drown in your riches. You can trade anywhere. I'll like take that 40,000 star hotel. I've watched you for days. You rise, they don't lie. I can tell you don't approve the 40,000 star life. You sit there drinking bullshit wine. They run the label well, it stacks up just fine. It's older than you, but it's good for your health. I'll take that 40,000 star hotel. 40,000 star, 40,000 star, 40,000 star hotel. 40,000 star, 40,000 star, 40,000 star hotel. I can't breathe. Thank you so much. Put your hands together again. Kelly Bruhaha, one of the purest voices ever on this stage. And not a bad songwriter. <laughs> 